All right, guys, welcome to the 18th ever episode of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Yo, got Jay yo. here with me. Boom. You already know how the fuck we're rocking. Got Ivy here in the back with us. We're back with another episode, man. Already episode 18, man. We're back Boom. with more content. So please like, subscribe, let your friends know, share, hit that notification bell, and Thanks. go down in the comments and let us know what you like, what you don't like. Mm. If, you know what I'm saying? What, what you want to see is give away at a thousand subscribers, all that good stuff, man. But um, but yeah, we're back with some more content for you guys. We're telling you, we're we're back to back with these. We're back to back with these for sure. But um, but yeah, man, we want to go. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna, gonna go yeah. to the first subject right quick that John wanted to bring up. Yeah, yeah, facts. facts we were just man. talking about this before nah, we started here. You know, it's it's been on my mind for a little bit now, and uh, let's talk about these holes, man. <laughs> these hoes and while we talk man, about cause... these hoes man go ahead and spark your J spark your ball uh, yeah, blunt yeah. pack your bowl and pack your blunt or your bong whatever you have yeah whatever, whatever you hitting man you know whatever, whatever I mean? you hitting out Hit of man that shit and get Facts. high with us man yeah it don't matter man but yeah first first subject is definitely fucking you know Let's talk about these hoes yeah, man these hoes man yo man I don't know some of these females they just they swear they don't need a man talk about a king you know what I mean they swear they don't need a man they swear they ain't a hoe. Talk about a king. But they're the first to do something when money is involved in it. Ooh, ooh, a Birkin bag. It's hey, treacherous come on, baby. You want a Birkin Gucci bag? bag? You want to, you know, let's come on. It gets treacherous out here yeah. for a Birkin. I feel like people just always, it's not so much even females. It's just people always looking out for their interests like that. Like, it's like somebody will try to take advantage of you as long as they can gain something from you. Exactly. But hoes are going to be hoes. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of females out there. But we know when a man is like, yeah, I'm going to date that 80 year old lady. She about to take care of me. People frown <laughs> upon that. But when a woman does it, people don't frown upon that. That's people are just like, ah, oh, you know, it, it's typical. Like, oh, it's expected a young woman with an old rich guy. But when it's a young guy with an old rich woman, they're like, oh, can you believe him taking advantage of it? Like, yeah. yeah. What the that, fuck? <laughs> fuck Come on, I'm man. trying to eat. Yeah. I'm trying to eat. Nah, fuck. Yeah. I want my kids to be all right. Me and my wife talked about it. Remember, my babe? kids need some fucking, you know. Some trust funds and shit. Facts. It and is it, what it is. I, I think sugar mamas should be just as acceptable as sugar daddies. If a girl could get some old ass guy to take care of her, I should be able to get... If my wife passes away, I should be able to marry an 80-year-old woman. As long as she wants to take care of me. I'm helpless. Oh, I wear a diaper around the house and, and drink out of a bottle. That's what she likes. Sugar sugar mamas are underrated, bro. Yeah. Because they're out there. They're out Uber there, but season. you don't really find them like that. Sometimes... You know what I mean? But For some reason, John usually, finds them. Usually, yeah, I mean, <sighs> me personally, no, I never, I never met a, I, I never met a woman that wanted to take care of. Are me. you opposed to it? No, I'm not. So me a, neither. So if a, a woman wanted to completely take care of you and you sit your ass at home and do nothing all day, you're not opposed to it. I'm um, opposed to me sitting home doing nothing all yes, day. Yeah, I'd have to yeah, do something. Yeah, I have to do something. I'm gonna get you're not life, opposed yeah. to her just paying all the bills. Oh, fuck no, no, no. She wants no, to take care of me. She no. wants to wipe my I ass, I agree. Too. Equality, bro. Yeah, We're 2020. We're about to be equal. You want to be equal, millennium, right? Man. You want the same rights as me? Then take care of me. Yeah, I right. want to be bougie as fuck, and I want to get my hair dyed. And I'm going bald. I mean, shit. I don't know. I see it all the you time, bro. You want the bro. Botox and all that shit, bro? Yeah, I look Yo, that especially, everything. especially the <laughs> hey, especially the women, the women that's like out of like the country and they want to be like a U.S. citizen. Mm. I'm not gonna say no names, but Damn. don't say a name. I ain't. Okay. I ain't. Yo, dad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn. Nah, 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 nah. I love you, dad. Shout out. Nah, man. for real. Shout out to shout out to John's dad. Man. Shout nah, out bro. to John's dad shout in uh, the to... North Pole. <laughs> nah, man, he's a visca bargain, all right. He's a visca bargain. He's a visca bargain. bargain. Nah, Damn. but you know what, man? Shout out, shout out to the young ladies, man. That be shout out to the young women that's going to school. Whether yeah. you have a kid, whether you don't, whether you're getting it. single moms. Once again, yeah, shout out fact. to you because there's plenty of single moms out there that are getting it. My sister being one of them. Shout out to you. Nah, for real. You're, going to, you're getting it. You're not making excuses. Your kids are still in sports. Graduating college. Yeah, you're, you're you doing know, it. Yeah. You're, you're doing, doing it. Shout out nah, to all of y'all. Shout out to, shout out to the single moms for sure. Because a lot of us were raised by single moms and mm. shit, bro. Yeah, facts. So it's like, shout out to you guys. Yeah. Shout out to um, me getting some money. Uh, I'm going to start a GoFundMe for me. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Pop your shit. So I'm gonna be dropping the link down soon, just just for weed and everyday necessities, munchies. 
Yeah, you know Things what I'm like that. Hey, Hit man. Weed up. and snacks, bro. That's it. Hey, it might I've, make our podcast better. We yo, might need some things. I've seen women that um hold like GoFundMe to get bo- boob jobs and ass jobs. Get the fuck And people here. donate to that shit. So why can't I say, like, I'm going to start a GoFundMe because I'm trying to get Dude. more weed, more munchies. Nah, people support. Yeah. They so, got operations for, like, abs, too. Like, you, you look are like... Are you trying to say yeah. I don't have abs? No, nah, but I don't. No, nah, he's trying to say you need them. No. You're right. I'm not I look like I just got out of his fucking <laughs> a death camp. Nah, but it's all right. <laughs> nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Cocaine's out of the drug. Just get it. Nah, I wish I had some abs, man. You know, it might happen. I'd be working out. I'd be yeah, going. Bro. I was Leonidas' is double on 300. Yeah. For those of you. Working you out is know. trash, man. I've been going for like four months now. That shit ain't no The joke. thing is, they don't for, notice for, the for. difference, but what but, but, but people do. Speaking of working yeah, out. Speaking of yeah. working out, what, did, what are your guys' New Year resolutions? <sighs> to smoke more weed and start this GoFundMe for munchies and weed. What's you? What's I feel you? like... <clears throat> I feel like I just need to complete my daily goals more. Munchies and weed. That's, That's a yeah, good one. I, yeah, I, I definitely need to, to do my daily goals. What and, would be a daily goal? Um, You know, just maybe some normal stuff. Maybe just read a book. Because, you know, this, sometimes I really want to read and I get too lazy sometimes, man. I feel and, I, and I feel like I just, I, I don't know, maybe I get too high. Maybe Audio I'm just books. so distracted that I just, I feel like I can't read at that very moment. Bro, audiobooks is the way to go. You know what I do? I get in the shower and I just throw the audiobook on. Go yeah. on a Bluetooth speaker. Mm. And I just chill in the shower and take my time, listen to the book. When I'm driving, boom, I put it on. When I'm cleaning, doing the dishes and shit, I put it on. Bye. Yeah, I do dishes. What's up? Nah, Say something. Nah, shout real. out to the niggas that do dishes. Yeah, shout out man. to all the shout men that man. do the same job that women do. That take care of kids like the women do. That are 50-50 with their spouse. Shout facts. out to you. You the yeah, real ones. Because you know what? Relationships and loyalty is a dead thing. And nobody wants commitment. That's why people don't get married. And nowadays we live in a swipe left generation. Everybody just wants to hook up. Nobody wants commitment. Listen, people. That's fucking true. relationships are work. Okay? You're not going to find your perfect guy. And guys, you're not going to find your perfect fucking woman. Yeah. There's sacrifice involved in this yeah, fucking relationship. Facts. You know what I mean? So if your New Year's resolution is to stay in a healthy relationship or stay committed, then... Or get out of an unhealthy one. Yeah. Or have a healthy body. Yeah, have a healthy just, body. Just do it, man. Mind. Whatever it is. Yeah, it's all yeah, about even consistency. Even if it's something as simple as meditating for five minutes every Stick day. Stick to it, you though. You know what I mean? Because there's going to be those days where you're going to fucking wake up and you're going to be like, yo, fuck meditating. And it's going to happen It's gonna happen sooner than later, yeah. to be honest. Because what is it? There's a good statistic that says what? That like half of the people that started a New Year's resolution are off that bitch by like the second week. Yeah, the week. second week. Yeah. Like, but it takes 26 days to create a habit. Yep. You need to do it consistently yeah. every yes. day for 26 days yeah. for it to become part of your every day There's days ritual. we don't want to shoot this podcast. Yeah. There, that's a fact. And I hope you guys know that. Yeah. There's days. Listen, it's. It's three different schedules here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's three different. I got whole, sure. whole, There's three different lives going on, three different schedules. So there's Some days, people have families. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jazz, jazz fucking kids. Jazz, we have families. Yeah. Homeschool kids. So they homeschool. Yeah, My so wife's like, a teacher. There's days where, where this this podcast is like, damn, like, you know, should we put it off? We could put it off, but why? You know what I'm saying? Why do it? We yeah. might as well get together and, and we it always ends up being a good y'all. time. Yeah, yeah. It, it always ends up being a good time and we enjoy doing it. We enjoy the feedback that we're getting. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. once again, we appreciate everybody that's doing that. <laughs> and if you could, please like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell and let your friends know that, you know, you rock with us and why you rock with us and share share our Man. content with them. You there's know what no, I'm saying? There, there's no such thing as uh, trying to do something. Yeah, you know what you I'm do trying it to do? It's either you do it or you don't. It's either you Fact. like us or you don't. So thumbs up if you do. If you don't, thumbs down. You Fact. know what I'm saying? Like tell us what tell us what you want to hear. Yeah. You know? How you know what I want to hear? I want to hear about the days when you used to smoke Reggie weed and you Fact. didn't have access to this top quality oh, bud. Reggie shit. days is Shout out to all it my was, dealers I, with the I, Knicks. I can't I can't go into it completely saying that it was like trash because it got it, me by shit. Yeah, it shaped a, a yeah. lot of us and yeah. it, it made a lot of us smokers. But at the end of the day, man, the quality of weed from Reggie days to now is Ooh. night and day. It's complete. It's completely mm. different. Mm-hmm. Like no seeds, no stems. Oh my god, man! Sin semilla. There, there used to be some 
some Arizona going around, some Zona going around Arizona. that was fucking trash. Like, we thought it was good, but now when you look at good weed, it's like, whew, we were missing out. We were missing we out. We were missing out big time. You know, all that brown shit, all that fucking nastiness. You know what I mean? Nah, oh, for real. Like brick shit. Smoking out of fucking cans and smoking out of fucking... Yeah, because the first Yo, time I Yo, you know smoking out of yeah. cans is terrible. It's like smoking out of it's aluminum. It's horrible. Yeah, I, actually, I didn't find that we out We used to do later. that shit. Yeah, yeah we used Because it was so simple yeah. to just put a couple holes in the can and just hit a couple... You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, that's why they stopped... That I heard making those uh, like aluminum bowls. Remember the aluminum pipes? Yeah, those are bad too. But yeah, mind dude. you guys, mind you, this is when we were fucking kids' kids. I'm yeah. talking about like, you know, young teenagers. I got hair on my chest now. We used to take the <laughs> Bottle. We used to we used to take the bottle and put like the ratchet in there. And yeah, I would just, we used to put he's the one that yeah. yeah, he's the one that taught me. And we used to put we used just to burn the hole in the bottle mm-hmm. and we would hit it. I'll never forget it because that's Ju- correct. Like, that's correct. Yo, shout out to Justin because Justin actually he hit that shit <laughs> and he threw up in my garage. Yo, that and it was shit, the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. Hard, that's bro. good crack. Yeah. Niggas don't know that shit used to hit hard. Yeah, two but hits that, and you good. Yo, that yo, listen, you smoke out of a out of a plastic bottle for a year straight, you might catch some type of cancer. No, nah, oh, I, I did. did. I didn't. I never got cancer. God, hey. <laughs> I'm knocking on wood right now. <laughs> nah, facts. Nah, for real. Big facts. I've yeah. been okay, man. I was all right. I was nah, doing but okay. Re- Reg's days was a simpler times, bro. Yeah, they were. They were simpler times. Like, there was struggle. It was a struggle for the weed, man. But there was a lot of other shit that was good, too. Yeah. Like the music. You know what I'm saying? Like, the cocaine. Hey, speak Cocaine's for yourself. I don't know. Nah, I never did that in my life. <laughs> I'm just joking. But... Yeah, nah, bro. You know, Reg's days. I, I'm glad that we're not in those days. Anymore, I'm not. Period. I'm high as hell. I just want to. Yeah, throw I'm that super out litty, man. I'm so, lit. Guys, don't bear with us, man, because we're not professionals. I'm we're not my a pulse. newscast. We're not none of that. So, you know, what I'm saying, bear with us. But yo, what do you expect what, for 2020? Yeah, what do what are our expectations for 2020? Um, shit. I expect people to stop being. Um, people should be more loving. Like loving, learn to. Coexist with one another. You know what I mean, man? You should learn to love one another. Peace. You know, peace. Even though there's never going to be world peace, we're never going to achieve that shit. So we should give up on world peace. That's one thing you should do. But try to love one another. Give up on world peace, try to love one another. Yeah, man. That's hard to understand, but just think about it. My expectations for 2020 is just to be a better person, bro. Like, just... All the way around. Yeah, just be a better person. Facts. Okay. How about you, buddy? Shit, man. Honestly, I feel like I really need to stop drinking. Like that's the first step, baby. He's admitting you got a problem. Yeah, my dog's an. You're on your world to the recovery. I think, I think, I think, I think I'm addicted to alcohol. <laughs> Bro, the it happens, that's it a happens. real situation though my friend and there's yeah. a lot of people that can't even admit to that yeah yeah facts. facts facts that's a big thing not to get on that subject but alcoholism in the united states is a big thing and people are worried about marijuana you know what i'm saying but alcoholism that's you know, really the other people. day there was a, a a guy that killed somebody down the street from my mom's house a <laughs> grandfather with his three granddaughters he just picked him up from school it's 2 p.m he was drunk dr- uh, drunk Oh, yeah. He ran red light, right? People are worried about weed, right? Listen to this, right? All of you people watch that, that who watch this podcast, listen to this right here. People are worried about elk, uh, about weed, right? While there's people dying left and right due to alcohol. Listen, but they're worried about marijuana. Let's all think to us. Even you old ass fucking people that are so taboo don't want to talk about marijuana. Think about this. You don't want to talk about marijuana, but your old ass wants to go there and pound a bottle of wine. Get drunk as fuck. Get behind the wheel of a fucking car and drive drunk as fuck. Because we can't stop that at all as a country, but we're worried about marijuana. I feel that as humans, we tend to just ignore the bigger problems. Yeah, Until it, you know, A lot of these fucking politicians that are not agreeing with marijuana... Fucking kids probably snort pills, probably fucking pop pills. They get drunk as fuck, but they're here worried about marijuana and not signing a bill. Like, I don't know. My opinion. Everybody, I don't know, man. You need permission to do anything in this world, man. Carry I feel a gun. like you shouldn't need a it hunting license anything. or a fishing license. Anything, yeah. Fishing license, like, anything. That's a fact. Nah, bro. 
But that, you know. But you don't need sad. a permission slip for, yeah, I mean, shit. Sad, you, bro. Yeah. You do need a permission slip for, like, drugs and shit. Yeah, Which you brings do. us to our next fucking yep. subject, drug yeah. culture. Um, Listen, man. I'm from the the generation where people are doing people my age, a lot of people my age are doing pills. Yeah. You know, they're doing heroin, they're doing lean, they're doing a bunch of shit. And you know, I understand we all have our vices, but those those vices are some some crazy vices like that it could kill you. Very addictive. Like, yeah. Lean ain't no joke. Yeah, it's I've, liquid I've heard heroin. We were just thinking about that, man. Yeah, it's liquid heroin. Yeah. Like this drug culture that we live in, we gotta realize that. Yeah, man, we grew up on this music that was glorifying it, but they ain't, ain't nothing cool about it. Yeah, ain't nothing cool about it. A lot of the people that are on drugs, their parents were on drugs, and it's like, damn, like why do we, why do we gotta repeat the cycle? Why do we gotta fall into the same traps that they fell into? Yep. You know what I mean? Like Generational it's not, curses. it's not a different, like. Every generation has its its drug epidemic, where like with its specific drugs. Like but the eighties crack now, epidemic. Yeah, the crack epidemic was crazy. We're living the, through that with pills now, yeah. bro. Pills are the thing right now, man. That's the new crack pills, epidemic. Pills. There's people doing crazy shit out here. You know, lacing pills with fentanyl, all types oh, of yo, shit. Like, that bath salts. We lived in a crazy generation, on, bro. bro. We've seen a man eat another man's face. It's yeah, all about making Miami. money, though. Yeah. It's all that. about making money in the name of making money, bro. People yeah, that's why they sell, keep people will sell you fucking poison that they know is gonna kill you. Yeah, bro. And not bat an eye for the love of that money. And that's yeah. crazy, bro. You can't you can't be too greedy in that's this. That's what world, I'm bro. saying, bro. I used to drink like crazy. Like that was my thing. Drinking, that was my thing. When I started smoking bud more and more, I stopped drinking really. I don't drink like that. I stopped doing a lot of the things that I used to do. You know what I mean? but And it shows in statistics, show that in California, Colorado, alcoholism, drunk driving, that shit went down everywhere. So numbers don't lie. A lot of things lie, numbers don't lie. You know, you don't want to legalize marijuana. Eh, fuck out of here. Yeah, because but it's it, a business. You it's know? a multi-billion dollar business yeah. on two spectrums. Like, they're, they're making billions of dollars off of the legal states, and they're making billions of dollars off of the illegal states yeah. through the arrest and the fucking court system. Locking so, anybody up for no reason, hey, Uncle man. Sam. And you know what? They can't. They can't prove that they. You know, supposedly they're saying that they're able to make a device that can tell if you smoked at that very moment. But that's bullshit. I feel like I don't. I feel I, like they I'm can't not tell. Say it's bullshit because, like, bro, technology is crazy. Unless you're days. really, really smoking and it's coming out with like smoke, like, and and you you have it, you have it right next to you. Then yeah, but I mean I get it, but, it matter, bro? but like, why does it really matter? Like, I, did I crash into anybody? Like, did how I? How many people at the end of the day? How many cases of somebody driving under the influence of marijuana and killing somebody? Have you heard of? Not saying you should do it, not condoning it by any means, but like, how many cases have you heard? Right, and now let's think about how many alcohol-related incidents there's been just in the last year. I had a friend in high school die from alcohol poisoning. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, like, what's the bad part? Like, if somebody can go in the comments and give me a valid reason, a valid argument with alcohol and pot, why alcohol is legal and why pot's not, give me a valid reason why pot shouldn't be re- legal. Like, convince Man, pot, me. Pot was originally made illegal because, like, the bigger companies that own the, the land for the trees that were making paper, you know, they were making the, the papers, the newspapers and shit yeah. on them. They boycotted it and they, they made it want, illegal because yep. it was way cheaper than what that, they were selling. Yep, the hemp. So that they just made yeah, they made that. it illegal so that they could make more money. It's always it's all about money. It's always about profit. It's always about money. The Dinero. rich, the rich are gonna pass laws that benefit them. So don't ever think that you know we voted and you know we got some something passed because the people went out there and did it. No, they let. They let that bill pass for a reason. You mean you know my doesn't count? No, bro. I don't think so. That's my opinion. Let it, guys go down in the comment and let in the comments and let us know if if you think that your vote counts when you go to vote for anything. Mm, that's you know true. what I mean? I feel like I feel like they see it and then they laugh and then they change it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Like I feel like that's what. That's it. That. No, true though. That's you know, true. Though. I feel like they know. I feel like low key we we live in a dictatorship. Mm. For real, yeah. I feel like low key we live a, in a dick championship because it's not no, when real. the people speak, it's like it's unheard. Like people have spoken about marijuana all throughout the country. 
Yeah. Pretty much every state wants it legalized recreationally. So Why it's still not legalized recreationally is beyond me. Yeah, it, like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make it's sense. It's about money, bro. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Talk. yeah. Let me tell you something. It's about money. I am so gone. Nah, for real, bro. But you know what? You know what confuses me too? That they yeah. let you, they let you walk away with a citation for meth. That was before weed. What? You know that, right? The, the like, thing, if you use yeah. meth, because I was watching live PD. Yeah, I'm from I watched, New York. I watched, New York, yeah. everything is super illegal. Everything. Even, even a handgun. Yeah. A minimum getting caught with one of these puppies right here. Oh, five years. Five years minimum. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Just for being caught with it. Let me have my fucking guns. Yeah, man. That's crazy. That's what are your opinions on guns, people? My yeah, opinion man. on guns are if you're mentally sane, you should be able to have one. Because the problem in America is not guns. It's mental health. It is mental health. It's people who don't have access to affordable mental health. Having easier access to guns than mental health. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, if you nip the problem in the butt with mental health and make that, even if it's just that, more affordable where somebody can go and get the proper treatment, not just get numbed out healthcare. on drugs. Healthcare. We need better healthcare in America. Yo, the problem with America is they numb you out on drugs, right? Yeah. And make you dependent upon these drugs, mm-hmm. and then they take them from you. Oh, your insurance no longer covers this. And now you're hooked on this drug that you no longer can yeah, get. Yeah, but if you notice, there's always a key component to all that shit. There's a common denominator. Well, and it's that, nah, nah, <laughs> like, all these drugs, you could find, like, the base of it is pretty much, like, either heroin or, or like, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? Like, No, it, the government's the one who put heroin and crack all yeah. that on the streets in the first place. Meth. You think somebody just on the street? I think they put that shit in pills. Hell yeah. I think they put all that shit in pills. They Bro, put remember in... Prohibition days? They were poisoning alcohol. During, look this up. If you don't believe me, you can Google this. That the government was poisoning alcohol. So people were dying. Just to deter people from drinking alcohol. During the Prohibition day. The government himself, themselves were poisoning it. Listen, man. Saying? The government's been, been That's why it, be it doesn't surprise some shady me. shady shit. Fuck that. Now, the government... Like... I forget what city it was, but they used to spray chemicals to see how the people would react to it. They would Yo, spray, how about Flint? They would spray like oh, chemicals Michigan? on the top of buildings and shit. Flint alone, bro. Flint alone teaches you like that's fucked up that those people like that we live in 2020 almost and the people still have a hard time in the United States of America and, and getting access to clean water. Clean yeah, drinking that's water. Crazy. Like how that's, fucking hard is that? That's been going on for years too, bro. Years, years. That's some sick shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? We want to pride ourselves on being the strongest, fucking most powerful country in the world. We always want to go help somebody clean. else, but yeah. can't help ourselves. We can't help our own fucking people here. You know, Michigan shouldn't have been going through that shit. Flint should have not been going through that, to having a crisis of drinking water. Come on, Elon Musk wants to invest and invent so many fucking things. Why don't you invent something that cleans water at such an affordable and at such a fast pace? Mm, we have the technology. Bro. Come on, fuck out of here. Let's not worry about making stupid ass armored trucks that the windows don't work. And let's make some shit like Jaden Smith. Shout out to you, my friend. You're the real MVP for making, you know, providing machines to that are able to provide clean really? drinking water. Yeah. Really? Bro. Yeah, look it up, the story. How old is he, man? That's dope, bro. He's young, bro, but he's got yeah, a good head on his shoulders. He's got good parents, bro. Yeah. That's revolutionary, yeah. though, bro. It's he's making a move. Shout out to Jaden Smith. Yeah, shout out Jaden Smith, man. I fucks with him as an artist, helping too. People hey. fuck, helping people drink clean water, yeah, bro. That's what's real. up. For real. And usually people don't like, like, if, if your father's famous or he made it in, in the industry already and you are following his footsteps, usually people don't Yo, he listen. Paid his it's way, like though. yeah, it's like Diz- it's like Diddy's son. Like who listens to Diddy's son? Yo, Diddy's son's I fucking don't even trash. Know who the like fuck Diddy's son is. Yo, yeah. they're, they're trash. But the thing with Jaden is like he's Will, different, bro. Will never co-signed him like that. Yeah. Like he wasn't right. like, "Yo, he, I remember him doing his music. I remember him growing. He got signed to Rock Nation on his own." And he's a good actor on his own. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, since he was a little kid, I fucks with him. Shout out to you and shout out to your parents nah, for being for great Shout out to them because they, they, raised, they raised some good kids, for yeah. real, for real. He's doing some big things in the world, man. But for real, I don't know, bro. I'm super duper <laughs> lit. Like, I'm high as fuck, guys. <laughs> yeah. Nah, we lit. We lit. Yo, I appreciate everyone who keeps coming back and fucking with us every week that we for drop real. an episode. I know that we're kind of like all over the place, but in reality, we just fucking 
man. We're just getting together, just a few friends, getting ripped, talking shit, talking shit. just like you would in a house setting. So exactly. I know people are going to disagree with some of the shit they hear, and you might not agree with it. But hey, it's cool. You can it's leave okay, a comment, yeah. or you can move the fuck on. Yeah. Leave, you can leave subscribe. A or... If you don't like it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't have to follow our channel. We're, we won't be butthurt. Believe you. Yeah. Believe yeah. you me. We, Everybody's we entitled right. to the way they think. You know, and I feel like everyone 2020 should be more open-minded. You know what I mean? A little bit more open-minded. Yeah, 2020, yeah. we and need to be more understanding and yeah. we need to be more empathetic with other people, bro. We need to understand where other people are coming from and not yeah. just look at it from our POV. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't forget uh, freedom of speech, too, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah freedom of speech is... A big everybody likes for, to throw yeah. that around, bro, but yeah. not everybody likes to Don't forget that, that, man. Don't forget your you know freedom to bear arms and don't forget your freedom of speech because that's like one of the biggest ones. By bear arms, he means right. these. Yeah. I know I got them covered this week. But. Like, we got all these cops out here and FBI agents holding guns. Why can't we? You know, they're afraid of the bad guys. Why can't we be afraid of the bad guys? True. Nah, listen. That's a whole different. That's, that's a, a whole different debate, bro. That's a whole other yeah. debate, bro, for real. It is. That's a whole different debate because it's the day that the government takes your guns is the day that you need them. Yeah, that's a fact. For real, for real. You ain't coming to Texas and taking our guns. I'll tell you that, boy. <laughs> Not an open state. Nope. Yeah. Nah, man. At you ain't coming to Florida day, and doing that shit either. It's gonna start a civil war. Bro. That's gonna start all out war, bro. If they try what to do you guys people. think about that? Do you think a civil war? If they try to take people's guns, hell yeah! You necessary? think Texas is gonna give up their guns easy? You think people, Florida's uh, gonna give up their guns easy? I think a lot of people would. I feel but like a lot people of people would, wouldn't. Yeah, not all their guns. Yo, at the end of the day, no, I, I feel think like a lot the government of people will would flex. give up all their guns. The government will flex their power. They're yeah, gonna they'll, come send, they'll send shit into. Yeah. They'll you, send people you into. You ever your seen house. the movie Red Dawn? Well, oh, bro, no. that movie's dope. You never seen that? Yeah. That's a dope movie. Yeah. So, like, imagine you waking watching. up and you see, like, all these fucking army agents, yeah. Asian people jumping down trying bro, to rob you. Bro, see that movie. Rob me. Nigga, you rob me. They're trying to take you, you and... catch these shows. Yo, show them what you got. Show them what you got right there, bro. Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. That's a little surprise low for whoever wanted. You know what I'm saying? Yo, low key. Keep it low key. Yeah. Yeah. Low key keep hey. It low key, but that shit hitting for real. <laughs> Skr up. Like, big shock, man. No, for real. This for real. beer. This beer hitting. Yeah, man, we feeling good, man. I almost said man. the name. But. We feeling good, <laughs> but yeah, guys, we be, we're back with, we've we been back with another episode. We're litty like a titty. We're kind of tipsy, you know what I'm saying? We've been smoking. We appreciate everybody that came and did the same with us, you know what I'm saying? Crack a beer, whatever you drink, and, yeah, you know, man. smoke with us every week. Yeah. That's what we do. We just chill. We talk about whatever we, you know, comes Boobity to mind. Boobity bobbity. You know, bibbidi bobbity. Yeah, bibbidi boom. 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 Yeah, it's been yours truly, low key. It's Yo, been it Jake. John, John, we Woo! out here. And we out this bitch, man. Ra! Hoo, hoo! Pop, pop! Yeah, did a lot.